video I'll be showing you how to get iOS 7 beta on your iPod Touch 5th generation. As you might notice I have a light blue cover which I got yesterday from Pacific Mall and the purpose I got this because of iOS 7. So now I'll show you how to get iOS 7. First you'll need to restore your iPod and set up as new. So the screen will look like this. And how to do that is to go to restore iPod and restore your iPod to the latest firmware which is 6.1.3 for iPod 5th generation and also you'll need the IPSW for for um, iOS 7 beta I'm going to show you a tutorial on beta 2 because beta 1 has expired so I'm not going to update to that so I'll go from beta 2 and then show you the other betas so if you are already finished doing that step, which I already done for time purposes, make sure your iPod is connected to the computer. And now is the most important step. So you can get your keyboard. If you're on Windows, hold Shift and click Check for Update. If you're on Mac, hold Option and click Check for Update. So I'll be doing that right now. option check for update and open you to this so now you can put your keyboard aside and search for your iOS 7 beta IPSW so mine's on my desktop at the very bottom so select that and open and it'll say iTunes will update your iPod to 7.0 and will verify the update with Apple so click update now it's extracting software and it's trying to install the iOS 7 beta. Like I said, this is beta 2 because beta 1 has expired. Beta 2 is set to expire in August 8. So while that's extracting the software, I'll show you how I got the iOS 7 beta. So I used uTorrent and here's my iPod 5th generation iOS 7 beta IPSW and I got it from the Pirate Bay which I'll have the link in the description for that and once you download it I suggest you use U-Turn because it's good for turns and that's what I always use so I I just finished downloading that for time purposes as well so now it's continuing in iTunes so I'll just exit u -turned and continue showing you how the iPod is restoring preparing iPod for software update waiting for iPod and as you can see it's a thin bar which shows you that iOS 7 is probably going to be successful because as you if you saw my other videos on upgrading and downgrading always the bar will be like the thick bar as it was for iOS 6 and iOS 5 and so on so this is the iOS 7 thin bar for the upgrade so now it's waiting for the iPod so it's waiting for the iPod to finish the iOS 7 update Now it's verifying the iPod software. Updating the iPod software. Now it's updating the iPod software. So as you can see in iTunes the bar is going. And on the iPod the bar has started for the iOS 7 beta. And now it's verifying the update for the iPod software and the, the bar is still going. And keep your iPod connected at all times to your computer so nothing goes wrong. So it's verifying the updated iPod software, which will be finished soon. And now it's waiting for the bar to finish on the iPod. Now it's updating the iPod firmware and it's verifying the updated iPod software again.
And now your iPod has been updated and is restarting. Please leave your iPod connected. It will appear in iTunes after it restarts. So now the iPod is restarting and it will successfully be in iOS 7 Beta 2 and will show up in iTunes soon after it restarts. And it's fish finishing up some iOS 7 installations on the iPod. Even though it's done on iTunes, I said on iTunes, keep it connected until it shows up in iTunes. And now it's restarting again. And now it's on the setup screen for iOS 7. So we'll wait for it to sync into iTunes. And we'll go to the iPod. And as you can see, it's iOS 7.0. And it says your iPod is up to date. So now I will configure my iPod. So I'll show all the hellos in different languages. So I already entered my Wi-Fi password. So next, set up as a new iPod Touch. And now I'll sign it with my Apple ID. Terms and conditions. Agree to it. Agree. And I'll take up a few minutes to set up my Apple ID set up iCloud I'm gonna use iCloud set up find my iPod touch yes I'm gonna use that and my iMessage so I'll just continue that and FaceTime now it's updating my cloud settings and it's asking for a passcode lock uh, I won't do that for now asking to set up Siri, use Siri of course diagnostics don't send welcome to your iPod touch okay and now as you can see we're in iOS 7 and sadly all your data is gone but you have iOS 7 and I'll show you in settings general about iOS 7 as you can see iOS 7 and I'll get out of settings and that'll be it for this video so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll have my Twitter Facebook and my website down in the description and you will have iOS 7 fresh brand new with all the features that in includes and I'll ask for weather as well I'll press OK it has control center and it has the every single thing iOS 7 would have but this is a beta so you might have some glitches so if you want to downgrade it I'll have another video up soon on how to downgrade so thanks for watching once again.